Can you record the claim adjuster's inspection when they come to your home? Better yet, should you? We're going to answer that question, those questions. My name's Mike Keeler. I'm a licensed public adjuster in the state of Florida. And if you don't know what public adjusters do, they basically represent you the homeowner, the property owner, when you have a claim against your insurance company. So let's go over some housekeeping items when it comes to being able to record the claim adjuster, the insurance adjuster, when they come to your home. Number one, you can let them know that you're recording. In some states, you may not have to let them know. In Florida, you do. But ironically, if you look at the second bullet point, during the appraisal process, which is a process where you essentially try to settle a claim and it involves two appraisers and an umpire, you can record their inspections and not notify them. So it's quite interesting. So when the adjuster comes, you should notify them, but you can also secretly uh, videotape the appraisal inspections. And then the third bullet point here, there is absolutely nothing in your policy regarding you not having the ability to record anybody that comes to your home on the behalf of the insurance company. So Mike, what's the purpose? Why, why, you know, it's a little awkward. I don't really want to follow the guy claim adjuster around your home, you should. You don't want to feel awkward? Well, guess what? This adjuster who's coming into your home, who's basically going to lowball you, who's going to, let me tell you a couple things that what they do with their estimates. Number one, they will not properly measure it. Number two, they will put in a cheaper grade materials, cabinets. If you have nice cabinets, guess what? They're going to put in cheaper cabinets. Floors. If you have nice floors, they're going to put a cheaper quality floors. There's a bunch of things they're purposely not going to include. They have no problem coming into your house and screwing you with the estimate or denying your claim. You should have no problem filming them. And oh boy, if you film them and you have to file a lawsuit because they don't pay your claim, the amount of information and the amount of questions and the um, just the sheer lack of integrity and comprehensive inspection by the adjuster, it's a field day for attorneys, all right? If you have a water damage claim, here's another example. You film their inspection where they don't use a water moisture tool, right, to pick up everywhere that the walls or floors or, or baseboards are wet. So you show that. That's a great bargaining chip and it's very powerful. And then when you get that person, if you have to file a lawsuit, you get that adjuster and the attorney can just go off on him for why they didn't do the inspection the right way. Why didn't they measure things appropriately? Why, why, why? So the video is very powerful. Now, I get that a lot of you may feel uncomfortable with it. And again, there is nothing in the policy that states you have no right to record an in inspection. As a matter of fact, anybody that comes to your house, sent by the insurance company, you should videotape them. And guess what? If they don't want to be videotaped, that should really raise some red flags. If you're doing your job in good faith and you have every good intention to make you whole and to help you out, why wouldn't you want to be recorded? Yeah, go ahead, record me. I'm just doing my job. I'm doing everything the right way. But when they say, no, we can't, doesn't that worry you? Doesn't that raise a red flag? If you can film the garbage pickup people in your town and they're doing their job, 
or anybody else who's doing their job, a police officer, a fire, um, fireman, ambulance, what, whatever it might be. You can film those people and they're doing their job, but the insurance adjuster doesn't want to be filmed. I wonder why. Should you? So you can, obviously we just discussed, and some states are different. Some states you don't even have to allow, you don't even have to let them know that you're filming them. And again, in Florida, it's awkward. So you got to tell the adjuster that you're filming them, but yet during an appraisal process, and let me explain that real quick. I don't want to get too bogged down on that. An appraisal is when it's reached a point, they made a certain payment to you, but it's not enough. So then either you or the insurance company demands an appraiser, appraisal. The insurance company hires an appraiser, which is a claim adjuster. You have to hire an appraiser, uh, public adjuster normally. And then those two try and work it out, which 95 to 99% of the time they don't. So then an umpire comes in and he makes his decision. So when any of those come in, you don't have to notify him that you're recording it. That's so interesting. It's really backwards. I don't understand it. So again, it's a red flag if they don't want you to videotape them. Use it to your advantage. If they walk out, that's all you need to know. You know right then and there that they had no good intentions for your claim. Please don't forget, give me a thumbs up, a like, and then also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this regarding homeowners insurance claims. My name's Mike again. Thank you for watching this video. I'm a licensed public adjuster in Florida. If you have a question or need help with a claim, here's my information on how you can get a hold of me.